start of the 2011 Lion football season. Our young men have worked very hard. I think uh, the addition of Coach Matt Powell as our new strength and conditioning coach was an A-plus for us. He done, has done a wonderful job with our guys in the off-season program. Also, our administration this year uh, allowed us to have all of our players, including our incoming freshmen, for a summer school. So we have had a great turnout and, and very good uh, off-season workouts. The, uh, the tempo of our practices and the, the attitude of our players has, has been very good. And uh, we've had three very good workouts since, uh, since we began. I believe that we have put together uh, the best athletic team that uh, we have had since I've been here uh, as far as position by position athleticism and uh, ability to play football. You know, when we look around that meeting room right now, there, there's not many weaknesses. Uh, I think the athleticism is there. There are some positions where we have got to really get them up to speed, uh, game experience-wise, but I, I think the ability is there to uh, perform beyond what we have in the past. Now, saying that, I believe our schedule is very, very difficult. You know, we've got to open up with Tulane on the road, then we have a, a, a Savannah State coming here, which is a good FCS game for us. Then we have to go to uh, Southern Miss. And then the following week, we open conference play in Lake Charles against McNeese, who you know is picked to win the league. So it's a very tough three out of four games to start out with. And then our remaining road games in conference being our McNeese at Northwestern, at Stephen F. Austin, uh, and at Central Arkansas, who are all you know, picked to be in the top four in the league, have the most players back of anyone in the league. So it's a very tough schedule for us. Uh, we approached this subject last night in our team meeting uh, about playing on the road. You know, last year we were 0-6 on the road, which is not very good. And, uh, you know, we have been talking about that ever since we got started back in January, and we approached that subject again last night in our team meeting. I think our attitude is good. I think we have very good team unity. I think we've had some outstanding leadership from Josh Penton and Devin Botwell in the offseason and, uh, and Brian Young. And I, I hope that that turns into uh, victories for us. We need to stay healthy. We're going to try our best to get as much work done as we can in full speed situations uh, without going live tackling. Uh, if any of you were here, to, to watch us work out this morning for the first day in shoulder pads, uh, third day of camp, had an outstanding workout. Uh, some of the things that we were doing uh, offensively for just being the third day were amazing. So uh, I think when you look at our roster, you're going to see some new names. Uh, I believe there's 13 transfer players, uh, four-year school transfers, junior college transfers, uh, a prep school transfer, 13 new names that weren't there last season to go along with the freshman class that we signed. I think we've brought in some people at key positions, we've brought in some experienced players, and uh, I believe players that can compete at a high level in the Southland Conference. And that's one thing that we were striving to do as my staff, and I've got a hardworking staff. I've got a bunch of guys that can recruit. And uh, that's evident by the number of transfers that we brought in. And our freshman class, you know, last year of our freshman class of the 23 guys, we redshirted 20. So we'll have some very fine redshirt freshmen that have been in the program for a year ready to play. Uh, this year, I'm not going to say that we're going to redshirt that many guys. We're going to, we've got some guys that are going to be in the mix uh, as freshmen. Uh, the latest move that we've made uh, for you Baton Rouge folks, Jeremy Myers from St. Michael's, we made the move to uh, safety yesterday from 
quarterback to safety. And uh, he was excited about that move uh, because uh, he believes he sees himself uh, being able to get on the field a little bit quicker than if he had stayed at the quarterback position. So uh, he was a great, he is a great kid with a great attitude. He just said, yes, sir, whatever I need to do to help the team, and I'm excited about it because I can see myself playing right away, which, which he made. So uh, Jeremy has made that move practice there today. Coach, is that for the long haul? or That's the long haul. That's a permanent move. And this will be his first day at safety. Today was his first day at safety, yes, sir. What questions do you have for me? I noticed on the list that you've got him right in the second slot. Uh, what does that say about him and you know, his ability there? Uh, Jeremy, when you watch him play in high school, I believe he was all state in three sports football, basketball, and baseball, was the Baton Rouge uh, Scholar Athlete of the Year and is a very athletic young man and very intelligent. The numbers that he has put up in the weight room in our off-season program have been amazing. And for us to leave him stand on the sideline as the third string or fourth string quarterback is just a waste of talent. We've got to get him on the field. And uh, you know, he spent two hours yesterday with Coach Webb getting caught up on coverages. And he was out there and did a great job. In fact, I had to get him on him for one play because we're going thud, thud tempo. We're not taking people to the ground. He came up there and knocked, knocked him running back down, tackling him around and said, hey, go on, Jeremy. So, uh, no, he was he was happy about that move. Coach, do you know if he played any DB when he was at St. Michael's? He did. As an underclassman, he played some DB, played some linebacker. He's now 215 pounds, I believe, and pound for pound, he's a very strong young man. So he's going to fit in fine. Got very good feet. You know, that was something I wanted to see today at practice in the back pedal drills, the defensive back drills. And uh, he did a, did a very fine job. Got great feet, great hips. Coach, you know, young can say the least in the offensive line. Just not that he's been up coming along since the spring. Well, you know, losing Kevin Hughes, you know, Kevin was, uh, you know, our best player up there. And, you know, he's doing a really good job with the St. Louis Rams. I believe he's the twos right now, left tackle. Uh, and everybody always wants to talk about that left tackle. But believe me, Gaston Gabriel in year three compared to Kevin Hughes in year three, Gaston is far advanced from where. Gaston's up to 300 pounds. He's got great feet, length, and uh, is starting to come into his own, starting to mature. I think with him it was a confidence level that he sees himself uh, as a player that can dominate in this league. Uh, you know, our leader up there up front is Josh Petten. And, uh, you know, Josh, a three-year starter at center. It's like having a coach on the field. <coughs> and, uh, and his leadership in the off-season program with those big guys was outstanding. And, uh, and Josh makes all the calls up there and does a very fine job. Paul Rapolo at the right tackle, Paul, 300 pounder, you know, for a long time he was playing for us at 265. He's 300 pounds now and started a bunch of games for us last year. Marshall Paris playing the uh, left guard for us. And, you know, Marshall got some starts last year at the end of the season after uh, <clears throat> Evan Niles went down with his knee injury. So he's got game experience. And right now it's Corey Booth playing at the right guard for us. And, and Corey is a very strong young man, very uh, intense player, red shirt freshman. And then um, Prentice Hood, junior college transfer that we brought in from Iowa, will be competing at those guard spots. And, uh, and right now, Chet Abair, true freshman from uh, Shaw High School, is, is also and had a very good practice today. Did some really good things on practice today.